Behind me is a continuum. And on one side, we have health, and on the other, death. I'd say that my granddad was on this side of the continuum. I call him my gaga, and this is him on his 90th birthday, dancing with his great-granddaughter. My gaga's really progressive in how he views his health. He says he's part of a culture of vitalists. And he told me about these people. He said that they challenge mainstream ideas and think for themselves. They take care of their body so well that they rarely get sick. And if they do, they don't use drugs or surgery. They recognize the innate intelligence of the body and they let it do its job. They eat whole foods. They realize the importance of functional exercise, of learning new skills, breathing clean air and interacting with nature. They get quiet and listen to their bodies. And best of all, like this guy did, they do the funky chicken dance on their 90th birthday. <laughs> Be honest, where would you say that the majority of this world are on the continuum? Honestly. Yeah. It's a very different world. A world where more than one million children under the age of five are on psychiatric medications. And 115 Americans will die every single day after overdosing on opioids. A painkiller. A world where only three out of 10 people say they're happy and content with their lives, and where 80% of us, of us, you and I, will die of a lifestyle illness. Lifestyle suicide. I'm here today to invite you to live a life on this side of the continuum. Can you imagine what that life feels like? My name is Dr. Tom, I'm a chiropractor, and this is about way more than just the spine. If you're here today and you're a mum, dad, brother, sister, student, or teacher, I'm telling you this is about your brain. So how does this work? Well, the body's made up of millions and millions of cells, and these cells are controlled by the brain via a system of nerves. You can think of it like this. The brain is the power station. The nerves are the power lines, and the cells are the houses at the end. So the brain controls everything. It takes in information, processes it, and tells the body what to do. It's like when you're on the beach and the sun comes out. Your brain recognizes that your body's getting too warm. It tells your cells to start sweating, and you cool down. Now here's the cool bit. Because the latest research is telling us that a huge amount of stimulation to the brain comes from the movement of the spine. It is so important to have a healthy spine. As you guys know, life can be stressful physically, chemically, and emotionally. And all these things lead to what we call a subluxation. And a subluxation is interference, meaning either the brain doesn't properly communicate with the body, or the body doesn't properly communicate with the brain. And subluxation causes disease. In our office, using chiropractic neurology and specific adjustments, we specialize in identifying and removing the interference so that the brain and body can work in stunning symphony. Now, here's what I think is cool. When you're born, your brain's like a, a blank canvas. We, we now know that the brain can change. It's like learning a new instrument, like playing the piano. The more we practice, the more we play, the more the circuits in the brain become hardwired. And this goes for anything, not just the acquisition of skill, but our thought processes, how we approach situations and relationships. We can sculpt our brain into a masterpiece. So like I said, when you're born, your brain's like a blank canvas, and as you move through life, your experiences create a picture. Pathways in the brain grow and connect to each other. And the scientists used to think that at a certain age, we couldn't keep adding to this picture. But now we know, through what we do in life, through how you choose to live your life, you can sculpt your brain and your life into whatever you want. This is a picture I recently received from my gaga. He said, here's a picture of my new standing desk. I've been using it all morning, and I'm suffering from tired legs. So I invite you to, to eat, move, adjust chiropractic, to join my gaga and a culture of vitalists, because it is never too late to start, to start making sure your brain and body is working out 100%, and to start sculpting your masterpiece. Thank you.